a very helpful website for seniors. And you find out who wins Kings Island season passes for no tardies. All on today's announcements. I'm Gavin Lacey. It's been a while since we've checked in with her, so we kick things off today with another Senior Moments with Mrs. Porter. Welcome to Senior Moments with Mrs. Porter. Seniors, last week we talked a little bit about college cost estimators that can help you compare the prices of different colleges uh, that you may be interested in attending. An example is the college cost comparison tool. Um, if you, on your computer, go to consumerfinance.gov and then click on Consumer Tools, then click on Paying for College, then click on Compare Costs, you can see how this works. Um, this is where we can put in different colleges to compare their costs. Let's get started. So first of all, we can put in the name of the school. So I'm just going to put in Ball State University. Then I can click on what type of degree. So if I'm going to Ball State, I'm probably going to be doing a bachelor's four-year degree. Um, so I'm, I'm clicking on that, and then I'll just click on continue. Um, I live in Indiana, so I would be in state tuition. And since I'm at Ball State, I'm probably going to live on campus. So let's hit continue. And so right here, it shows me what Ball, Ball, what Ball State costs for a year. It's 20, over $24,000. And, um, but if I click on cost of attendance, that shows me what that 24,000 is. Tuitions, uh, almost 10,000. And look, housing and meals are, are just, are actually more than what the tuition is. And then it adds in books and supplies and other, costs like your computer and travel and all of that. So seniors, this is just one example of a college cost estimator and um, I would be happy to help any of you with this. Anyone interested in playing football next, next fall, winter workouts have begun. They, ha they are every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 3.45 p.m. to 4.45 p.m. If you have any questions, please see Coach Caps or Coach Sonsini. You have another chance to help support our RHS Radio TV class. Coming up on Saturday, January 25th, will be another Chipotle night. Just see that Chipotle that night and say you're there for RHS Radio TV, and a portion of the cost of your meal will help us attend our annual Indiana Association of School Broadcasters Conference in March. Good food and help us at the same time. Anyone who signed up for eSports needs to accept the Canvas page and follow Red Devil eSports on Twitter at RedDevil1Up for updates. Students interested in U.S. history that, will that would like to be a part of the Social Studies Academic Team are invited to their next meetings this Friday or next Friday from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. in room R212. The topic is the Roaring Twenties and you'll be learning about a variety of topics including the Jazz Age, Prohibition, Presidents of the 1920s, and Flappers. Student Council will have its first meeting of the semester next Wednesday, January 15th from 3.45 to 4.30 p.m. in the RHS conference room across from the cafeteria. All you have to do is join all you have to do is join to show up. We're always looking for new students to get involved. One more information about this and all the student council events, follow our new Instagram page, at Stuco Richmond. Here are the final winners for notardies from the first semester and the last grading period. Winners for the final grading period of fall who each win a $25 gift card are Daniel Barber, Carson McDivitt, Summer Stevens, and Wyatt Wolf. The winners for first semester who will each get a King Island season pass are Chloe Mitchell and Mackenzie McGrew. Congratulations and see Mrs. Parks and Mr. Amex's office to collect your prizes. Remember, keep getting to class on time this semester and maybe you could win. That's the announcements. I'm Gavin Lacey. Have a wonderful day.